Hey, this is CND Channel. I'm Chris. This is MMA for you. It's also my dog, too. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing uh, my prediction for Invicta FC 5 on April 5th. As far as this card goes, um, man, it, it's really good. Two title fights, the debut of uh, Chris Cyborg in Invicta. Uh, we got Sarah Kaufman versus Leslie Smith, which is an early, or, um, could most likely will be fight of the night. Um, Zola Gurgel is also going to be on that card. Caitlin Young versus Lauren Taylor could be fun as well. Undercard is really good. You got Rose Thug, Nama Junas, Jessamyn Duke. So, a lot of just good stuff on this card. So, uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, uh, Jessica Penny fights uh, uh, Michelle the Karate Hottie Watterson. Uh, this is a pretty good fight. Um,. Both these uh, female fighters have uh, a good amount of finishes in their record, uh, especially as of late. Uh, ironically, um, they both have like two wins by TKO and six wins by sub. Um, records are pretty uh, even as well. Jessica Penny has a 10 and 1 record, whereas Watterson has a 10 and 3 record. Uh, Penny has a three fight win streak, Michelle Watterson has a four fight win streak. So, uh, there's, you know, uh, as far as, like, records go, they're, they're very similar. Um, the thing with Penny, though, is besides being the Adamweight, Invicta FC Adamweight champion, her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is really good. If you see her fights against, um, Lisa Ellis Ward, for example, uh, Naho Sugiyama, where the way she, she locked in that triangle by trapping, um, trapping uh, Naho's, uh, Sugiyama's arm behind her and then going for that triangle was sick. Um, she's really good off her back. Super flexible. I mean, this, she, I can tell us what. I remember she was in side mount on the bottom and managed to get an arm bar <laughs> from the bottom. Really good transitions uh, also when she's on the ground getting in the scramble. Uh, the other thing is with her stand-up, she has a pretty good jab as well. Uh, with Watterson, um, she trains at Jackson's. We're like resilient. Um, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is good. Uh, her striking, it, it's good. Sometimes she can get unorthodox too. She can go for the spinning stuff and whatnot. Uh, I also remember her going for like a flying arm bar and stuff like that. So it's, she's definitely not afraid to try stuff. Um, but with this fight, I gotta go just skip Penny, especially with her ground game. That jab, she, she can control distance really well. And if it gets to the ground, I, I gotta, um, gotta favor Jessica Penny. I think in Michelle's last fight against what, Lacey Shuckman, I mean, there's a little too close for comfort. She got a split decision win. Um, but, y you know, it's um, tough opponent, you know, tough not enough opponent. But with uh, Penny, you know, she, she was pretty much in control of. Uh, Naho Sugiyama uh, and pretty much of that whole fight. So yeah, I gotta go Jessica Penny to win this one. Okay, next fight after that for the 125 uh, pound title, we got Barb Little Warrior Honchak versus Vanessa Porto. This one's really hard for me to call because I've been pretty high on Barb Honchak as of late. Uh, 7 2 record, 1 win by TKO, 2 wins by sub, uh, 33 years old. On a six fight win streak, and she's training at Militage. She's been showing some really good wrestling. I've been really impressed with her wrestling, actually, as of late. And her little top control is good as well. Her, her stand up's not bad, also. But Porto, if you saw her last fight against, like, uh, Terra La Rosa, she's been in the game for a while, too. She has a lot more experience. 15 and 5 record, 3 wins by KO Tico, 10 wins by Sub. She's 28 years old. Her Brazilian Jiu Jitsu's uh, really strong. And her stand up's improving as well. Uh, against uh, Terra La Rosa, I mean, she was showing a really good leg kicking game. Um, she had a really fun fight against Sarah Delelio before that, where she lost. Um, but and it, it wasn't that long, but it, it was still it's still a fun fight to watch. So this one's tough because uh, with Honchak too, um, she has a good mixture of like uh, she of strength and athleticism. And, and just well-roundedness, but Porto's been in the game for a long time as well. 
And this one's really hard for me to call too, but I'm gonna go with Porto to win this one. Um, more experience, um, you know, good stand. I mean, like, I think Contact probably has a better wrestling. Uh, Porto, though, her ground game's pretty strong. Uh, I liked what I saw when she fought uh, Tara Loras in the last fight as well. Okay, next fight after that, we have Chris Cyborg Santos versus Fiona Muxlo. Um, yeah. Last time I saw Muxlo, she lost to Marlos Kunin. Muxlo has a 6 and 2 record, 1 win by TKO, 3 wins by Sub. She's 35 years old. She's like a replacement for a replacement for a replacement, pretty much. You know, because Chris Cyborg was supposed to fight Eddie and Gomez. Um, but. And then she was supposed to fight Julia Budd. You know, she has some decent stand-up and some good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but with Cyborg, despite having last fought in December of 2011, she's 27 years old, trains at Shoot the Box. You know, massive power, very aggressive, always pushing forward. Kind of a brawler, not the most technical fighter. Throws a lot of wild haymakers, you know. Likes to overpower opponents. I think she'll be able to do that here. Um, I got Chris Cyborg winning this one. Okay, next fight after that, Zola Warrior Princess uh, Fresso Gurjal fights uh, Jennifer Maya. Uh, this one's actually really tough for me to call because Gurjal has a 12 and 2 record, one win by KO, two wins by sub. She also has two losses by sub. 29 trades at Team Gurjal. She's always had some pretty solid stand up. And her uh, grappling game is improving. Um. The thing is, though, uh, and here's the thing with Jennifer Maya, 6-2 and two record with one draw, one win by TKO, four wins by seven. She's only 24, trains at Shoot the Box. Uh, some pretty good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but one thing when I was watching some videos, she, she's really aggressive. She stand up's decent, but she makes up uh, for um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of it with her aggression as well, and that's the thing too with with Gurgel, uh fighters that like push forward again on her. Whether it's like Jessica Aguilar, even Megumi Fuji, who I, I thought those two beat her. Um, the the thing with Gurgel, she tends to back up a lot um, when fighters are, you know, really aggressive with her, and, and she can't always deal with it well sometimes. Um, that's why I'm going to go with uh, Jennifer Maya to win this one. Even though I, I would actually think... I haven't seen any lines or anything. I, I'd assume that Ger, uh, Gergel would be um, favored to win. But, you know, i I, I got to go with Jennifer Maya to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, Sarah Kaufman fights Leslie the Peacemaker Smith. Uh, fight of the night right here, man. I, I love watching Leslie Smith fights. Um... You know, five, she only has a 5-2 and two record with one draw. Three of her wins are by KO Tico. Two wins by a decision. You know, she's 30 years old on two-fight win streak. She trains at Caesar Gracie. Her, her stand-up technique isn't that good. Um, but she is a brawler, and she's always pushing forward. She's very much like a Diaz brother. She, she'll get you against the cage. Throws a lot to the body, a lot to the head. You know, um ultra aggressive really high output and she actually does have a pretty good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game though um you can see that in like the Caitlin Young fights for example uh and especially the way she finished her with the crucifix and just punching her in the face until uh she got the TKO victory um Sarah Kaufman though 15 and 2 record her only two losses are to Marlos Kunin and Ronda Rousey 10 wins by KO TKO 5 wins by decision uh, she's 27. She's a former strike force bantamweight champion. She has a uh, good technical stand-up. She doesn't use a lot of variety of strikes. It's usually a jab, a cross, and an inside leg kick. I mean, that's it. Um, you generally don't see her going for much else. Regardless, she does it really well, and, and she's really technical. One thing uh, about her, though, she her stance is really, or surprisingly, really squared up. Um, her takedown defense is really strong. She has a really good sprawl. And she also has a really high output as well. Um, pretty good in the clinch. She likes to clinch a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Sarah Kaufman to win this one. I can imagine it would be like the Alexis Davis fight where it's, it's definitely going to be a fight. 
But Kaufman's just going to be a little too technical. Um, her punches are just going to be a little too straight. And yeah, I, I think Kaufman wins this one. Okay, next fight after that, we got Lauren uh, Taylor versus uh, Caitlin Young. Uh, Lauren Taylor, 5-0, and undefeated record with all five of her wins being by TKO. She's 29 years old, trains at Gracie Baja, Alaska. Uh, she's never been past the second round, but she is taking the fight on short notice. Um, watching her videos, some things I notice are that um, she she's very aggressive. Her takedowns, uh, she's you know they're decent takedowns, you know, and she does have some good ground and pound, um, decent stand up as well. Uh, with Caitlyn Young though, seven and seven record with one draw, six of us wins are by K or TKO, one win by decision. Um, you know, she is on a two-fight losing streak, training, uh, but she does train at uh, Minnesota Martial Arts Academy. Um, her grappling's always been her problem, but her kickboxing has always been, uh, it's always been really good. I gotta go with Caitlin Young to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, we got Julia the Jewel Bud. Um, I, I should say the weight classes too, my bad. At 145 pounds, uh, Julia the Jewel Bud fights Miss, uh, uh, Miss Molly, Molly Estes. Um, with Estes, um, she has a one on one record. Um, she's 37 years old. I remember watching her fight against Randy Miller. Um, you know, she actually showed some really good takedown defense in that fight. Showed some really good knees. She kept kneeing Randy Miller uh, a lot as well. Uh, pretty game opponent uh, fighter. But with well, Julia Budd, I mean, four and two record with three wins by K.R. Tico, and she's 29 on a two-fight win streak. Uh, her she's has uh, really good kickboxing credentials. Her grappling though has really been improving. She's actually been taking the fight to the ground a lot more and pounding out her opponent. She did that to Daniel West. Um, she did that to her uh, opponent before that as well. I forgot forgot who that was exactly. But yeah, I gotta go with Julia Bud to win this one. The final fight I'd make are at Straw at 115 pounds. You have Beck Rowdy Hyatt versus uh, Jasminka Impressive. Uh, I guess it's Sive. Oh, oh, with Jasminka, she has a 5 0 undefeated record with four of those wins by KO Tika and one win by Sub. So all of her wins are by finish, and she's 31 years old. So it's a pretty good stand up. Really good knees, actually. But with Beck Hyatt, you saw her against like Carla Esparza, um, and some of the other fights where, um, still remember that fight where she like choked that one girl unconscious, it was pretty crazy. 4-2 record, 1-1 one -one by TKO, 2 wins by sub, she's only 24, showed some pretty solid stand-up, good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as well, um, she's able to, to fight off multiple, uh, choke attempts from like Esparza for example. Um, has some and she has some submission victories under her belt as well. I'll go with Beck Hyatt to win this one. This could be a really fun fight actually. Get on to the prelims. Okay, at 115 pounds, strawweight Katja Killer Bunny Kan Kan versus Juthai Juliana Carnero Lima. Uh, you know, I, I watched some of Lima's fights. <sighs> She's five and all undefeated with one win by TK and four wins by decision. She's 30 years old, decent takedowns, good leg kicks. Some of her fights, though, I, I gotta say, were kind of hard to watch. She, you know, they were not very high paced. She fought a bit conservatively, um, and it really shows with her four decision wins. With Katja, and also her level of competition isn't that strong. Katja, though, uh, with Killer Bunny, 7 0, undefeated record with one draw. She has one win by TKO, two wins by sub. She's 31 years old. Um, I remember I was watching her fight against uh, Simona, I believe it was against Sukapova. I know, she, that was a fun fight. Good boxing, decent offensive takedowns as well. She's fought a uh, better level of competition. So I'll go with Katja, Killer Bunny, can Kampa to win this one. Okay, at 105 pounds, we have Sassy Cassie Rodish versus Simona Sukapova. Um... Asika Pawa, 3-2 record with one draw, uh, two wins by K.O. Tico, one win by Sub, she's 35. She took the fight on short notice, actually, um, but she does have good kickboxing and good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. 
with uh, Cassie Roddick. Four and three record with two wins by K uh, TKO, two wins by Sub. She's 32. Four fight win streak. Really strong for the weight class. I, I say this about her. She has mom strength, man. You saw, you saw it against um, the other girl, you know. Um, well, Fausto. Um, you saw it against like, Stephanie Fausto, especially. Very aggressive, really high pressure type of fighter. You know, showed some really good knees in that fight. Good head kicks. They kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, her stand up defense isn't the greatest, but man, she's all, re you know, really aggressive, really strong for the weight class. I got to go with Sassy Cassie Rodish to win this one. Um, and he, if she wins, there's a good chance that uh, she'd fight the winner, Penny versus Watterson, to be honest, because I can't really think of other 105ers out there that she could fight. Next, right after that, a 135 pounds good fight here. Jessman, the Duke, uh, the Gun Duke versus Miriam Nakamoto. Uh, Nakamoto has some, like, uh, is it Muay Thai, like, uh, credentials, some really high level ones. Really good knees when, when I saw her fight. 36 years old. And MMA, she has a 1 0 undefeated record with that one win being by TKO. With Jessman Duke, though, I mean, she's probably one of the best prospects in women's mixed martial arts right now. Um, you know, 2 0 undefeated record with that one win being by TKO against uh, Susie Montero. One win by Sub, that was against Marsha Allen. Really cool. That was cool because, you know, she was saying something about her hair being pulled. Marsha Allen kept ground and pounding her, and she was just kind of, kind of like, F this, and, like, arm barred her from her back. Super, really tall for her weight class. Only 26 years old. Uh, her stand-up's improvement. She's good in the uh, tight clinch as well. Um, showing good knees, and her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu saw it as well. If this fight stays standing, it's going to be pretty interesting if the fight gets taken to the ground. Um, I'd, I'd favor Duke. In, in the stand-up, though, it's still interesting. I, I think Miriam just has better credentials. Um, and it's probably just more technically superior in the stand-up. But um, I, I'd go with Jessman Duke to win this one. Okay, next right at that, we are at 105 pounds. Alex Chambers fights Jody Escobar. Um, Escobar has a 3-0 undefeated record with one win by TKO and two wins by decision. Um, she's 26 years old, training at Jackson's. She does have a boxing background, and, and she uses that boxing uh, in her mixed martial arts. Alex Chambers also um, has a pretty good boxing as well. 3-1 record, two wins by TKO, one win by sub. She's 34. Um... The fights I've seen, she actually showed some pretty good ground and pound, actually. Uh, so this fight's really interesting, and, and it can go either way. Um, yeah, I gotta go with someone from Jackson's, though. She's a, a bit more proven. I'll go with Jody Escobar to win this one. And finally, at 115 pounds, we have Rose Thug Namajunas versus Kathina Killswitch Katron. With Katron, she has a 2-1 record with both wins by sub. She's 27 years old. Decent boxing. Decent offensive grappling. When she was taken on her back, though, the videos I've seen of her, uh, she didn't seem very strong there. Uh, with uh, Namajina, so, you know, 1-0 undefeated record with that one win being by sub. She's only 20 years old. Girlfriend of Pat Berry. She trains at the academy. Kickboxing's good. It's a good life hook. If you watch her last fight, though, her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, off her back was really good. She was hitting, like, arm bar or triangle chokes. I mean, she had a really deadly triangle choke on her previous opponent. Uh, Trains at Jackson's. Forgot her name. Uh, was it Emily Kane? Or, geez, I forgot who it was now. But, you know, uh, she was in, like, triangle, triangle arm bars. And at the third round, she managed to take the back, get rear naked choke, too. So... So some good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I, I got to go with the Rose Thug Namajunas to win this one. Okay, to recap, on the main card at 105 pounds, I got Jessica Pane over Michelle the Karate Hottie Watterson. At next fight at 125 pounds, I have Vanessa Porta over Barb Little Warrior Honchak. At 145 pounds, Chris Cyborg Santos. I don't know if she's still going by Santos or Justino. I forgot. Over Fiona Muxlow. 
and 125 pounds. We got Zola Warrior Princess Frosted Grigel um, versus Jennifer Maya, and I got Jennifer Maya winning that one. Um, at 135 pounds, got Sarah Kaufman over Leslie the Peacemaker Smith. Okay, at 135 pounds, Caitlin Young over Lauren Taylor. At 145 pounds, Julia the Jewel Bud over Miss Molly Molly Estes. At 115 pounds, Beck Rowdy Hyatt beating Jasminka Impressive Sive. And the prelims have Katja Killer Bunny Kankanpa beating Jisai Juliana Carnera Lima. Got Sassy Cassie Rodish beating Simona Sukapova at 105 pounds. 135 pounds, I got Justin the Gun Duke over Miriam Nakamoto. 105 pounds, I have Jody Escobar over Alex Chambers. And finally, at 115 pounds, I have Rose Thug Namajunas beating Kathina Killswitch Katron. So that's pretty much it for my predictions for Invicta FC 5, which happens on April 5th. Please support Invicta FC. I think they're a great product. I've already pre-ordered the card. You can just go on their website, and you can actually pre-order it already. Um, it's $9.95. Uh, please support them. Uh, I expect this card to be really fun as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my uh, predictions for Invicta FC5. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you guys very much. See you guys. Okay.